Hello, good day friend. Today we'll see overview of a VM which we have already created using Azure portal. Okay, so let us see this in action. So I'm here in Azure portal. This virtual machine we have created in our last video. You can check the video. So like you see the uh, this the resource group is this one demo 15 the operating system is linux ubuntu 18.04 uh, the size is um, d2s v3 this is the public ip address okay this is the virtual network and then uh, okay it's running it is us this is in okay subscription this is the subscription id okay uh, using this you can connect you can select how you would like to connect you can restart the vm you can stop the vm you can if you want to uh, capture the image you can do that okay and then you can delete the vm okay and then there are some other tabs are here properties you can see the virtual machine uh, the computer name operating system who is the publisher who is the offer plan okay and then availability if there is any availability settings are uh, done or not i will i will have video on this as well if it is a spot instance or not i will create a video on spot instance the disk and if it is an ephemeral disk or not disk encryption has been enabled or not okay uh, how many virtual cpus this is related to size uh, the ram uh, the ram uh, size okay this is the uh, details and then you, if you go to monitoring you will get the uh, details the cpu the network okay disk disk operation okay and then capabilities you can uh, check the capabilities and then if you have any recommendations and some tutorials if you would like to follow you can follow okay and on the left hand side you this is the overview we are already on overview pan then the activity log this logs all the activity on management plan for this virtual machine okay you can check the activities and you can uh, set the time uh, severity level and then okay subscription and you will be getting the details here the access control this is for role based access control setting okay uh, tags if you have if you want to manage the tags you can manage it from here if you have any issues you can diagnose and solve problem from this okay settings networking is a very important tab uh, because here it list your um, ip your network interface card uh, then your virtual network details your public address private ad address if accelerated networking is enabled or not and mostly important is that your um, inbound and outbound rules so if you would like any uh, traffic to be allowed or denied you can set up the rules here so this is very important okay the connect uh, has uh, the what are the ways you uh, can connect and their configuration details the disk this is the uh, this is here you will configure the disks the size if you would like to resize the vm you can do it from here okay and then uh, your security okay uh, security details advisor recommendations if there are some recommendations that you will be finding out here okay and then availability and scaling if you have uh, if you have configured availability then it will be available here and then you can come down bastion i will explain bastion what is it in my uh, future videos and then auto shutdown you will get the bastion related details over here auto shutdown if you configure auto shutdown it will uh, the virtual machine will shut down in uh, configured time okay so backup if you have configured backup you will get the backup related details over here then your uh, this is the disaster recovery settings okay and then uh, if you want to uh, like this is the monitoring details related so you get alerts if any alerts has been fired uh, you get insights okay you get metrics details okay this is the diagnostic settings you will get you can see the logs uh, there is one thing I wanted to tell if you forgot the admin password at any point of time that is very important in the support and troubleshoot you can come to reset password and you can set your uh, credential details also if you uh, want to reset the SSH public key you can do this here if you want to change the host of your uh, uh, virtual machine you can mm, click on redeploy and you can redeploy it this will change the host okay so this is about uh, uh, thank you for watching this